Welcome back everyone. Today I want to continue our journey in understanding attachment. In the 1950s, Harry Harlow wanted to investigate attachment. At the time, there was a lot of confusion about maternal bonding. The behaviorists believed that conditioning theory is the best way to describe attachment and affection. They suggested that reward in the form of warmth and feeding was associated to the face of a mother. Bowlby, on the other hand, thought that there are species-specific behavioural patterns for acquiring proximity and maximising the chance of survival. He believed that these behaviours continue past reward and punishment and that they were hard to extinguish. Harlow used research macaque monkeys to find out more about attachment. They were used because they're particularly social primates and similarly to humans they bond in troops of 20 to 200 monkeys. Research monkeys have long been used to help understand human interaction, to find vaccines for diseases like smallpox, and interestingly the macaque research monkey was the first primate sent into space. Research monkeys also show similar affection patterns in the maternal dynamic. They seek physical contact and closeness. They were particularly useful in this experiment because they mimic a lot of the same behaviours as a child does. The experimenters took 60 infant macaque monkeys shortly after birth and introduced them to two dolls, one that was created by wire and had a feeding tube, and one doll that was covered in cloth and had a warm light behind it. They both had monkey-like faces on them, and the observers allowed 165 days for them to bond. Over 165 days they investigated attachment and found that the monkeys preferred the cloth doll and created attachments to it. Similarly to Mary Ainsworth, they used a strange situation experiment and found that the monkey would go to the cloth doll for support. Here they would self-soothe, gain confidence and then start to explore. However, the monkey given the wire doll struggled to calm down and explore their environment. The experiment has also then created a fear stimulus and found again that the monkeys would ignore the wire doll and go straight to the cloth doll for comfort. Once they had calmed, they would then build confidence and start to warn off the dangerous figure. This is the apparatus we use. That looks diabolical. That's just the way the baby monkey feels about it. Flashing eyes, loud sounds, moving mechanical parts, all of these things are designed to frighten a monkey. Now here we have a peaceful, resting baby monkey. Let's find out what his reactions to his mother are when we frighten him. what any child will do in a similar situation. He runs away. It's more than running away. He was running to his mother to touch her, to drive away his fear. Contact with the mother changes his entire personality. Look, now he's actually threatening the diabolical object. All right. This gives us part of the picture of the strength of infantile love. The main findings of this study are that attachment is more to do with warmth and self-soothing. They also found the importance of this in building confidence and taking on potential risks in the environment. Akin to Bowlby and Mary Ainsworth, Harlow found that the self-soothing factors of physical warmth and closeness allows primates to create a safe base in which to explore the world. Eventually, the primate can explore further and further until they have self-confidence and self-soothing techniques acquired from the maternal figure. The experiments show how macaque monkeys and homo sapiens similarly create attachments and the importance of secure attachments in allowing healthy primates to explore the world. The main problem with this study is the animal cruelty involved 
and much like my video on psychology experiments that should never have happened, this experiment potentially would make the list. The experiment involved separation of monkeys from their mothers at birth and the creation of scary figures to repeatedly create fear in the monkeys. Although unethical, this study was one of the foundationary studies in creating attachment theory. Thank you for listening. Um, please do like and subscribe if you'd like to hear more about attachment theory and feel free to comment below.